Faisal Megdad, can you tell us what you think happened in Kanche Khum in Idlib province this week? Thank you very much. Uh, I think this is a very good question. What happened is that uh, a fabricated incident of the use of chemical weapons in Khan Sheikhoun was made and uh, at the end of the game, the United States has come uh, at the request of terrorist groups in Syria and bombarded a very important airport uh, from which our planes go and attack Daesh and Jabhat al-Nusra in its fight against terrorism. What happened to ignite sarin gas in Khan Sheikhoun this week? Uh, I think the terrorist groups uh, have hidden uh, these uh, uh, materials and we have reported this to the United Nations Security Council and to the uh, organization on the prevention of chemical weapons uh, some time ago and told them the terrorist groups including Daesh and Jabhat al-Nusra are bringing in chemical materials from Turkey and from Iraq in order to use them in the war against Syria. And do you think they deliberately uh, gassed people on their own side or do you think you accidentally hit those doors thus releasing the gases? I think we did our part in the war on terrorism because we know there are stores there and that uh, in those stores and factories the terrorist groups including Jabhat al-Nusra are making weapons, uh, rockets, uh, mortars, and so on and so forth. But the real story has not been yet uh, confirmed because the whole area is under the control of a terrorist group. Mr. Megdad, can I ask what you, how you reacted, what your feelings were when you saw the pictures this week from Khan Sheikhoun? when you saw the pictures of the victims of the sarin gas attack. What was your reaction? The people who were gassed are our people. They are Syrians. And we are working to rid them of the terrorist groups. Of course, we were sad. We were uh, angry uh, at these scenes uh, because our Syrian people does not deserve uh, to be uh, under the control of a terrorist group and to be gassed in a human way for a political, for a cheap political uh, gain. For me, on the part of the terrorist groups and those who are supporting these terrorist groups, whether they are in Turkey or Saudi Arabia or in some European capitals. For me, the saddest picture, the saddest picture I saw was a man holding his two twins, his toddler twins, very young twins, both of whom were dead. Which of the pictures stays with you? Which is the most memorable and disturbing image that has stayed with you from this week, Mr. Mekdad? In fact, these, these pictures were tragic, giving an impact of how uh, the situation is being manipulated by certain countries in, in Syria. And finally, the victims are our people, whether in Khan Sheikhoun or in Al Ghouta, which was gassed in 1913, uh, or in many other places during recent attacks by terrorist groups on the uh, government. So these are tragic pictures, and I was impressed as much as you were impressed, but these are my people. I am sad. I'm crying for them. Right. Is it your contention, Mr. Megdad, that the Syrian government has not used sarin gas or chlorine gas at any point in the conduct of this war? Uh, in my capacity as the chairman of the Syrian National Committee on the implementation of our responsibility towards the OPC, the Organization on Chemical Weapons, we have shipped all the materials on British, on French, on Finnish, on uh, American ships, and we uh, send them uh, to be burned in those countries or in overseas. This is what we have done. We have no whatsoever any chemical weapons and the Syrian army has not and will never use them against our Syrian people. So it is your contention 
that you have not used chlorine gas, for example, in Talmenez in April 2014, in Samin in March 2015, and in Idlib in March 2015. It is known there were chlorine gas attacks. You are in saying fact, these, are not, these are not the Syrian fact, government. We uh, have cooperated with the OPCW in its investigation, with the investigation group that uh, came to Syria uh, most recently, uh, three weeks ago, and we have done our best to provide them with the correct information about those who were using these chemicals in order to burn Syrians. Frankly speaking, if we have to say what are the gains of the Syrian government between using traditional weapons or using these chemicals, the traditional weapons would kill more terrorists than what was reported. So right. the Syrian army has no interest, no gains, as, uh, I mean, for the use of these gases or chemicals. Why has the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons, in its joint uh, investigative mechanism with the United Nations, found that the Syrian government was responsible for chlorine attacks on various occasions in March and a April 2014 and March 2015? I read the report very carefully, and they said that they were not able to go to those areas because they are under the control of uh, terrorist groups. And they said that there is a possibility that uh, the Syrian government may have used uh, chlorine in these attacks, but there was no confirmation whatsoever of these incidents in the report given to the Security Council. Mr. Megdad, can you understand why most of the world simply doesn't believe a word that the Syrian government says. We have seen the indiscriminate behaviour in terms of attacking civilians that has been exhibited in eastern Aleppo, just to take one example. And it's simply your government doesn't have a reputation that anyone will stand by uh, when you say that you're not behind chlorine gas attacks that other people say you are, or this latest attack this week. Thank you. This is, this is another good question. When uh, we were liberating Eastern Aleppo from the terrorist groups, the entire international community was mobilized against Syria. Recently, in attacks carried out by the same terrorist groups who occupied Eastern Aleppo against Damascus, the capital of Syria, not a single incident was reported. During these attacks, many Syrian civilians, including children and women in the capital of Syria, were killed as well. But the international community is standing with the strong, with the mobilization of the international media against the Syrian government, with the support of, I mean, certain governments like those in Saudi Arabia and, uh, I mean, Turkey. Uh, the international community has not been introduced to the reality of what's happening in Syria. I hope this new development may give another chance for people to know that we are fighting against terrorism and we shall not stop this fight against terrorists. We're not probably going to reach a settlement of the different viewpoints about the Syrian government's behaviour right now. Let me ask you this. What is your reaction going to be to the American attack last night? What are you going to do? How are you going to, to, to respond to that? This is an unjustifiable uh, attack. This is an aggression against a sovereign country. It is the responsibility of the Security Council acting within the uh, uh, Charter and the role of the Security Council to stop such attacks against sovereign country. We hope the ongoing debate now, at this minute at the Security Council, will come to conclusions of this type. We have never attacked the United States. The United States nor any other country should attack Syria. We are a sovereign country. We are a member of the United Nations. And these attacks violate the Charter and the role of the Security Council in keeping up international peace and security. Mr. Megdad, are you going to rely more on Russia now because Russia says it wants to help you improve your air defences, for example? No, we, uh, we, we don't rely on Russia. In fact, Russia is helping the Syrian government fighting terrorism together with any with other allies in the region and outside the region. So it is the, respons the responsibility of all countries to join Russia 
and other countries and Syria in fighting terrorism. This American attack has helped Daesh and has helped Al Nusra uh, and has contributed to the weakening of the Syrian army, which is fighting terrorism, which is the real address in the region to fight terrorism. You must be very, very disappointed because only a week ago, the position of the American government, the Trump administration, well, it was that Assad is a matter for the Syrian people, not for the American government. And effectively, this week has seen a huge change in the approach of the American government. Uh, this explains uh, how, I mean, this attack was fabricated, fabricated to change the position of the United States, of the Trump administration against Syria. And I think the administration in Washington and other countries were subject to a misleading information that came to them or have created such a thing to change these policies. Oh, so the Americans are just... As a pretext for change. The, the Americans are just a victim here. They've just been a bit dim and they've fallen for a trick against them. It's not that... Uh... It's not that they have the best intelligence services and the biggest security of administration in the world. It's just they're suckers, basically. They've fallen for a trick. I think they fall to the trick and they have changed unnecessarily what they thought uh, about Syria. In fact, their uh, statements two weeks ago or 10 days ago contradict with what they have done today morning in attacking Syrians and killing innocent children and women around Shairat Airport. Finally, Mr. Megdad, do you ever stand back and think there are a lot of people in Syria who hate Bashar al-Assad? Your country has fallen apart under him. It is in the grip of a horrendous civil war. Do you ever think, would it not just be helpful if this guy stood out the way or said he was willing to stand out the way if there was a, a peace process? Do you never just look at what is happening to Syria and think, my goodness, we need to do something here rather than just stand and fight and bomb our own people. After the election of uh, President Trump and even in the UK, in France, people, I mean, a lot of people hate his election. A lot of people hate President Holland. A lot of people hate uh, Prime Minister, uh, the Prime Minister in the UK. Uh, but they have never resorted to the use of weapons to express themselves as what happened in Syria. In Syria, we have a lot of people who support policies of President Bashar al-Assad, his role in combating terrorism, his role in bringing peace back into Syria. So uh, President Assad was elected like President Trump, like the uh, no, 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 UK sorry, Prime sorry, Minister sorry. or he was President not elected. Holland no, no. or whoever will sorry. come. Mr. Megdad, we have to finish. Look, but he I was mean, not look, elected in the same way as the British government no, or the American elected, government. Come on, don't be ridiculous. He was elected according... He was elected... No, you, what you are saying is ridiculous because you admit elections in the UK, but you don't elect, uh, I mean, uh, admit elections in okay. Syria. Tens of thousands of people have gone to the embassy of Syria in Lebanon to elect the President Bashar al-Assad. We will. He we, is more legitimate than many of the European leaders you have. But these are not the questions to be asked. Okay, Please. there's not a discussion for another time. Faisal Megdad, thank you very much for giving us your time. Do appreciate it. Thank you.